Okay, this is a quick video for anybody who's interested in putting a fan inside their helmet. If you've worn a helmet for any period of time, you've likely had uh, your glasses fog up or the uh, goggles or lenses, whatever. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I use a couple different masks, but like a Darth Vader mask, um, you know, after an hour or two or something, if it's if it's sweaty, it'll, your, your lenses might fog up, right? So the intent is to put fans in there. Um, I managed to make a, a decent system here. And uh, it basically cost me maybe twenty something bucks um, plus labor, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how to make it, and you can make it cheaper um, from parts. But um, here's here's what you need. Um, it will be a 3.7 volt battery, or if you've got something that managed to be five volt, I don't I don't know where you'd find a five volt battery. That would be even better. Um, but this is a 3.7 volt um, lipo battery. Um, you can get them between ten and twenty bucks, depending on how. How much capacity you've got this one's 3000 milliamps that's uh, more than enough uh, for a use case of something like this but um they they come in smaller sizes anyway so you know this this i think was like 18 bucks but you know there's cheaper versions uh, as well then you have uh what's a 30 millimeter by 10 millimeter fan this is the smallest fan you can get um at least that I was able to find on Amazon, and uh, it, it's it's a great size, um, and it ejects air here, it sucks in, it sucks in here, and it ejects here. So you'll have this on the outer part, and uh, it'll just blow this way. So this will be directed however you want it to do to uh, clear your lenses. So anyway, these uh, this was a little more expensive. This one's about five dollars and fifty cents each. The brand is Winsin, W I N S I N N, I think. And I got it specifically because it was actually a uh, lower voltage than some of the other ones. Or not lower voltage, uh, lower lower amps, lower power. Um, so this one's like 6,200 RPM, 1.5 cubic feet per minute. Um, and also what's, what you'll find out is important are, are the decibels. This is 22 decibels. Um, so I wanted to keep it at a minimum as possible because um, inside a helmet, it you know, uh, even a little noise can be a, a little loud after a while. Um, so that's why I'm using this one as opposed to a cheaper one that's actually runs faster, which, you know, if you, if you find that you're still fogging up with something like this, then maybe you want a faster one. But, um, I wanted lower decibels and just some air movement. I don't, I don't need a windstorm in there. Right. So then aside from that, um, I've got some of these cables here. Um, these, I, I think I bought them in batch with, uh, in bulk with, um, some low voltage led light stuff, but, uh, you can kind of see what kind of connectors they are. They are, I don't know what they're called, but anyway, uh, they're pretty common and it's, it's the same gauge wire as comes on these lipo batteries and those, these little prongs fit nicely into here. And then, so what uh what i did need to do was do a pinch of soldering um and fortunately it was very easy and on this little little board here um and i'll tell you why this is here this is this is a it's a the brand is comedox it's a step up uh voltage upscaler or something like that voltage booster i think is how they frame it a dollar sixty so they come in like a pack of five and it was like 7.99 for a pack of five um so the why, why this is here, I'll explain that in a second. So basically, this is 3.7 volts. Can you connect it directly to the fan and get it to power it? Yes, you can. Um, but what I looked at online is apparently um, voltage-wise, because it's not the right voltage, because this is 3.7 and this is a 5-volt fan, what will do, it will suck more energy from here quicker. Um, so in order to balance out, it ends up using this a lot quicker. So... In return for uh, as little as little power as this little um, board takes to convert it i'm doing just a step up conversion to five volts um so i don't burn through my battery as quickly um so and for a, a buck and a half that's or a buck 60 um you know that's it's a it's a no-brainer for me so then uh, all i did was solder these two wires which are i'll just show you what they look like they used to be the same length. Um, these are just kind of spares of what I've cut from previous stuff, but I just soldered two of these. It's it's very simple. I'm not sure if I can get it focused in on this, but um, it essentially has a voltage, a volt, a voltage in, a voltage in, and a voltage out, and then in the middle it's a ground. So it's only three holes. So 
Then of course your voltage in is coming from your battery and your voltage out is going to your fan. And it was easy as pie. Um, and this one is, again, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, I'd say Comidox, C-O-M-I-D-O-X. And it's from anywhere from sub five, five volts up to, um, it will convert it automatically to five volts specifically. And that's all we needed for this fan. Um, there are other ones that do um, variations where you can get it to go to different voltages, but then they get a lot bulkier. So this was exactly the use case I needed and it's the smallest footprint and it's great. So it was pretty easy. As soon as I soldered it and plugged it in, it worked. So just to show you how it works out. Let's see, I don't have my glasses on right now. Um, I'm hoping I'll plug these in right. It's a 50-50 chance here. Yeah, I think this is right. So I've got my to the fan and I've got my power in. Make sure I got my positive and negative lined up. And there I go. And I'm not sure if you can really catch the, I'll try and get it. But anyway, this is a 22 decibels. Um, the other one that I bought was yeah, a few dollars cheaper per fan, um, but it was uh, 29 decibels per fan and it was a third, a third more in power as well. So um, for the return on, you know, it's not getting much more blow for the increase in power that it's actually doing. But anyway, so I hope this helps. Um, very small footprint. I know, I think I've seen these on like, um, like these kits or something that you can buy on Etsy or whatever. I don't know. I thought they were like a hundred bucks or something like that. Um, so you can do it. You can do it a lot cheaper, especially if you're doing it from parts. Um, and of course you could make it so it was multiple fans. Uh, what I would recommend, um, do it like I did it where, um, I did not, I did not hardwire this or I did not solder this directly to the fan, which was a good thing because here's my first one. And right when I was about to do this video, I picked up this fan after I powered it on, I lifted it up and it stopped working because one of these lines broke off. So, um, I could, so I pro probably started that back on, but, um, for expediency, I'm glad I did it the way I did it. Cause I had, I thought ahead. I'm like, well, what if I have a problem or I want to use this on something else? Um, it makes it worthwhile. So it's not tethered to one fan. So I was easily, easily swapped in a new fan, no problems and, um, easy peasy. Uh, so hopefully that works out for you. Um, I think I covered everything. Yeah. Dollar 60, five and a half dollars. This one was 18. Um, but you can get them for, for cheaper. I, I, there's probably 12, $14 or if you get them from something you've got, um, of course for free. So hopefully that, uh, helps you out. If so, give a thumbs up, feel free to subscribe, take care. I'm out.